Hey there, and welcome to Four Minutes in the Front Row. This is John Vroman, and today we're talking about the benefits of the back row. Now, I've spent the last 10 years of my life preaching a front row life from stages and through coaching and through the charity, frontrowfoundation.org. But there are benefits of the back row. For example, when we're in the back, we gain a perspective that we sometimes don't get up front. You know, we're able to see the entire picture. I remember seeing Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas, and I had a back row seat. And I was a little bummed at the beginning, but I realized that there was so much happening in the show, in the different sections of the room, that I could see it all from the back. And I understood what the person who gave us the ticket said, when, when, meant when they said, there is no bad seat in the house for this show. And I totally got that, because you had unique perspective. The second thing I think is a benefit of the back is that you get an appreciation for the front. When we're in the back and when we're so far from the stage or from the field or from the performance, we get an appreciation for those times in life when we had a front row seat or the next time when we do have a front row seat, we feel a little more grateful for it. Sometimes in life it's the contrast that gives us appreciation. It's the moments where we experience the dark that we appreciate the light. It's the moments when we appreciate winter that we appreciate summer, or vice versa, depending on who you are and what you appreciate. The moments when it's raining, we appreciate the sunny days. The point is that contrast is critical for living a fulfilling life. You may be somebody that likes to people watch. You like to watch the crowd get engaged. Perhaps that's part of what you do for a living. Perhaps you're a journalist and you wanna capture the entire experience and note everybody's involvement. And so you need that perspective to be able to do your job well. Whatever it might be, there are benefits of the back. You know, it could even be as simple as this. It's an easy exit when it's all done. I've been in situations where I've been in the room and at events where I wanted a back row seat because I had to leave early or because whatever reason, I, you know, I was with somebody, and I'll give, you, I'll give you a great example. I was with somebody who was a front row recipient. And they were really not doing well at this point of the game with their health. And they, were, they needed to be near a bathroom. And so we had a, the, the best seat in the house for that person was near the bathroom, which was not front row. So in that moment, the best seat in the house changes based on circumstance. The most important thing is to be intentional about your experience itself and to understand that, as we say, no matter what seat you're given or choose to have in life, you can always choose to have a front row experience. And what that really means, uh, and, and uh, we talk about this constantly, is that having a front row experience is about being present, being fully engaged, being a participant. This is somebody that's connected to the experience in big ways. So here's my actions for you as you move forward. Number one is think about in your life, where do you need to take a step back to gain the perspective and get that back row experience so that you can learn to maybe appreciate the front row. Maybe that step back allows you to see how to navigate to the front row or where you wanna be in the front row. Also, think about this. Where can you learn to appreciate more contrast in your life? You know, sometimes we complain about our seat that we're given, you know, the experience that we're having at the moment that may not be the most ideal experience. In fact, we've had front row recipients who've been on, uh, you know, been on the record saying, you know, I'm a better person for having gone through this. Now, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, but because of it, I've learned to appreciate life in a deeper way. What experiences in your life right now might you be resisting and wishing they weren't happening? However, if they are happening and they're out of your control, you can control the meaning that you give to it. So think about those as you move forward. One last thing, behind me you're gonna see my wall calendar. Now I created this because I'm a highly visual person and I wanted to be able to see two years of my life on the wall. And this is about eight to 10 feet long here. And what you'll see is each month of the year and then below it is one year and above it is another. And so I can see two years of my life and I put these post-it notes up with goals and deadlines and you know I'm just in the process of doing this this morning and I wanted to 
share it with you before I totally load it up and, uh, and revisit my next two years. I wanted to challenge you to take a step back, get perspective on the big picture, take a back row seat for a moment so that you can then go play and live life in the front row. I hope this helps. I, I can't wait to watch and follow your journey uh, as you live a front row life. And until next time, until next week, uh, you know, enjoy the moment, be connected to the experience and live a front row life. Take care.